Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'll be going over how to use the Cadence related content carousel to link to products from a page or post. Now I'm going to assume that you've already installed the plugin. If you haven't done that already, there's plenty of tutorials online to get you up and running with that, so I won't go over those details. But once you've got the plugin start installed, the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the bottom part of your sidebar, find the related content area, and just click that link. This will bring up all of the related content options. You can set the title, how many carousel columns there will be, whether or not the carousel will autoplay, the speed of the carousel autoplay, how many items will scroll at once. You can use the WooCommerce product loop for the product output. You can align the text left, right, center. You can show a post image, the post type, whether or not to show the post title or the post date. And you can set a post excerpt and the length of that excerpt as well as the read more text for your carousel. So once you've got this all configured, hit save changes, and then navigate to the poster page that you want to have this carousel display. Let's say we've got a post discussing how great our winter products are and we want to have an easy way to link directly to those products. So you can see that's not displaying here yet. So what we'll want to do is go into the post edit screen for that post and first of all click screen options and make sure we've got the related content carousel options enabled. You can close that right there and we'll scroll down and we can see some pretty simple settings here so we'll just give it a title and we'll just leave the default settings since that'll work for us and we'll just start adding products. Now you're gonna want to put more thought into this when you do it because you want to have relevant products or pages in the carousel, but since this is just a demo store, it's not going to really matter too much. And as you can see, whenever we add something, it gets highlighted under the list, which makes it a little bit easier to be sure you're not adding the same items. Let's see, I think we've got six there, that should be enough. So we'll hit update. Once the savings or the settings are saved, we can go check our post, scroll to the top, refresh. And great, we've got our carousel displaying. And it's really that simple to set up. It's a very great upselling tool. You can discuss your products and then have direct links to them right below your blog post. Hopefully that'll help you get up and running with the plugin. As usual, let us know if you have any further questions on the forums. Thanks for watching.